How's it going guys, it's Owen here, back with a long overdue tutorial. So today I am going to be showing you the ball sphere colour changing orb sort of intro. And I'm just going to load it up so you can see what it is. Do you like the background? It's Naruto. Drawn by my friend Eva. So this is what we're going to be creating, just a colour changing sphere. We'll just do a couple, but you can add as many in as you like. So that's what we're going to be creating today. And let's jump straight into Cinema 4D to do so. Now, what we're going to need is a floor object. So we go up to the light tab and click on floor. And we're going to want to drag in a simulation. So we want to go to click simulation, dynamics, and create rigid body. Alternatively, I think if you're in anything below R12, because I'm using R12, you can right click and it's either in Cinema 4D tags or dynamic tabs. So the next thing we need to do is actually add in our sphere. So if we just add it in, we're just going to keep it at the basic size. And we're going to go over here to segments and go to 30. And that's how many we're going to create for this tutorial. Now as it stands, this won't do anything if you just play it. It's just going to stand there. And it also doesn't look very nice and appealing. Just like the one in the, uh, in the previous video. So what we're going to want to do is make this an editable object so we can edit all the polygons separately so you either click on this image up here or you can just click C on your keyboard we also want to click on this polygon selection tool and now we could click on individual ones separately but what we're going to do is go into selection and ring selection and we're just going to select a few I'm not going to do this precisely because you don't want to sit there and watch I guess So just do that, uh, three, three. And maybe one on the bottom, like that. So that's what we're going to do. And then what we're going to do is go to structure and extrude. And we're just going to drag it in a little bit. Like so. In fact, let's... I'm going to take off those two rings so it's just like this. And that's what we have at the moment. So it looks a bit better now, but we can't see any significant changes. So what we're going to want to do is go down here and create two different materials. Now as they load, I'm going to go Selection and Invert, or UI, if you want to do it on your keyboard. And we're just going to create a couple of solids. So I'm going to go for a very dark grey which has some reflection on it, you don't have to but I kind of want some reflection on it and we're going to drag that onto the current bit of the sphere like so, so we just drag it on there and then we're going to go UI again and drag this second material on so now we have two different materials on two different pieces of our sphere and what we can also do is add in another rigid body so that it just falls down and bounces back. Or actually we could add some bounce onto this dynamic body, sorry. So if we go collision and add about 120% bounce. That will go 160, how about that? Let's try that. Perfect. So that bounces a little bit and you also get this very nice rotation between each um, flip because of the uneven surface. So the one thing we actually came here to do was the color changing sphere. So what we want to do is click onto this white object here and we want to click on this auto keyframe button which is the red one in the middle. So any changes we do now will change in the time sequence. So what we can do is I added in a glow so we're going to add in a glow and we'll just change the color for the start so it can be like a lime green or something like that and then we want to go forward uh, we'll just put a keyframe there then we want to go forward about 50 frames and change the color to a light blue then go forward another 50 frames and change it to a 
ready pink and then go back 40 frames and we'll change it to a dark gray so now if we take off this dynamic tab we can actually just see the sphere changing color as we go and it does it like a smooth transition which is really cool and if we want to we can just go here you know change the color so it's a bit more dramatic the change is a bit different so light ooh, light blue to green to yellow to orange to red to pink to a gray so I think that looks kind of cool you know and if we put back on our dynamic tab I'm just gonna put 180% bounce on it we can see as it goes down Oh, we don't want a keyframe in the bounce, sorry, so if we take off the auto keyframe, just press it again and then go to the start and go 180%. Now the sphere, let's take off that first keyframe, there we go. The sphere is just going to bounce 180% the whole time. So if we let it bounce it comes right back up into our view now what we can do is like I did in the tutorial just duplicate this a couple of times go so control C control V just a couple of times and maybe rescale it Ooh. and that's one thing we need to do at first is go back onto the object selection and then change the size and do it for this one as well like so so if you have a look at this now all these spheres are in the same place but they will change and they also just move around whatever you want all we have to do is take off the auto keyframe or take away the first keyframe for all of them and then just move them around so that one can go there that one goes there that one goes there. It's kind of a it's a really cool effect, guys. You know, the spheres will change color as they go down and come back up. And what you can do, like I did, is just put some text in there. Let's make it eighty, so I actually guarantee the hit. You would obviously make it look a lot nicer than this, but you could just put like Owen in there. And let's make it a collision. So as the ball hits, it bounces off of the text now, rather than off of the floor. But if it falls onto the floor, we still have the rigid body tag on the floor. And I'm just going to throw in a throw seat into it. So at, we'll do it in 20 pieces, just so it doesn't take too long in the tutorial. But I'm also going to have a tutorial on Throusey coming up very soon. And also a beginner's tutorial. So beginner's to expert is going to be called. So from the very basics of Cinema 4D, like the interface, all the way up to the very advanced modeling a aeroplane, something like that. Because I'm actually working on a 3D short right now, which should be up in the next couple of months. So I'll be doing some development process on that. So if we just have a quick look at this, we can see the sphere comes down and shatters the text and then just bounces off. So it's a really cool effect guys and the sphere does change and if we just render this out quickly, in fact let's take off global illumination and render this out, we can actually see how the glow looks if we've got it enough or too much. So that actually looks kind of good, you know, a bit better than the original. But I hope you like it, guys, and please subscribe. Have a nice day, and peace.